This is an Nexus Special, Episode 14, Big Year, on Monday, December 31st, 2012. The OS feels heavy now. This episode of a Nexus Special is hosted by Ryan Rampersad with guests Andrew Bailey, Ian Buck, and Matthew Petchel. Happy New Year. Big Year? Indeed. Huge, Huge. Year. I started a podcast. Really? <laughs> Nice. You know, I know so somebody nice. else. Yeah, I know I know two people who started a podcast. You know, you know I know somebody say. else who... I know somebody who's been in a podcast since before this year started. Yeah. Yeah, we we already... This is our second New Year's uh, special. Yeah, it could be. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, uh, we're missing a guest, though. Yeah, you see, this guy never shows up to any shows, yeah. ever. Mm-hmm. I'm also missing my missing my co-host. Misting. Misting. Really? <laughs> yeah, but he doesn't need to be here. No, not really. His hair is <laughs> gone. Misting. What is he doing? I got it. He's at a uh, he's at a concert for the uh, whatever symphony. No, something else. Siberian Chamber Orchestra. Those guys. Oh, so that's where Ian Decker is. Yep. Who are we? Does anybody know who we are? Well, I'm Ian Buck, and I'm Andrew Bailey, and I'm Matthew Butchell, the Wandering Scholar. Oh, the Wandering Scholar, and of course, I am Ryan Rampersad. I'm no one. I refuse to be anyone anymore. And Happy New Year's, everybody. Mm-hmm. Well, that was a good show. Woo! Let's all go home. Yeah. Actually, let's go to the bar. You know, my Nexus tells me where every bar in the area is. Google. Yeah, we don't, I don't even have is. to ask. We just got to go to Cub. Yeah. Actually, my my tablet was convinced that this was my workplace for Which a while. Pretty funny, actually. It is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he keeps going over there to that studio place every day. So that Practic- must be that must practically. <laughs> and he stays there for eight hours on average. Oh man! Especially when you're. Tired drunk. <laughs> yeah, or that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, how can you be drunk? You don't know where any of the bars are. No, oh, Ryan told me. Yeah. Ryan's Google now. Mm-hmm. You're the Google? But he refuses to be. Yeah, because he's not anyone. No. So, big year? It was. What, what happened I, this year? Well, for me personally, several important things happened, um, not least of which was starting a podcast. I'm glad that's not the least. Nope, yeah. Um... Another thing that was pretty significant was I actually built a desktop, and so now I have a desktop, and now I absolutely hate laptops. That's an accomplishment. It, it, yeah, like, before, I was just like, oh, yeah, you know, why would you... I can understand why people, like, like desktops, like, yeah, they're more powerful and everything, but, you know, I don't really need one because I have this awesome gaming laptop, and then I, you know, actually built one and have a 27-inch 3D gaming monitor, and now I just can't go back. And at the same time, you had also had some hardware trouble with that new computer. Shh. It's part of the year. It's, it's hilarious. It, it spanned yeah. a good part of the year. Oh, the construction of your Spanned. Did. Well, yeah, because I spent like the entire summer slowly acquiring parts as they went on sale on Newegg. I spent an entire week acquiring parts. <laughs> I just bought them all the same day. Yeah. So hey. tell us about your troubles. Well, uh, the only thing that really went wrong with it was the motherboard fried. Hmm. For no apparent reason. And uh, after I sent it in to Asus and everything, you know, two weeks after I sent it in, they were like, oh, look at this. It has burn damage. And your warranty doesn't cover that. And I was like, that is ridiculous because I told you that it was smoking and that it smelled burned when I first sent it in. And you didn't bother to tell me that the warranty wouldn't cover that? Well, I also think it's odd that burn damage isn't covered. Like, when it caused its own burn damage? Yeah, presumably. Yeah. Well, it's not like he took a flamethrower to it. No. You're not this guy. I also, at that point, I hadn't, uh, you know, overclocked anything right. at all. Mm-hmm. It was all stock yeah. stuff. Haunted. Yeah. 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 It happens. But no, I, it, it's it's nice. It runs stuff. Yes. Oh, I actually did have some more hardware problems with it. Oh, really? The, the Blu-ray uh, internal drive that I got for it uh, does not work. So I sent that back into Newegg and... Did you get it replaced? Uh, well, it hasn't come back yet. Well, that's gonna take forever. I know. Hmm. But it's okay, because... Who uses disks anyway? Yeah, exactly. Right. Well, I heard you built a little computer this year, too. I did? Oh, yeah. Um... <laughs> so little, you don't even remember. No, I use it all the time. Um, that's what I was using today, because I left my um, primary desktop down here. You should tell us about your little computer. Um, so, um, I needed a, uh, new file server... Um, and my requirements were it costs less than $100, and I can't hear it. Like a toilet? No, no, uh, toilets are expensive. Yeah, they are. Like $300. Like a Raspberry Pi. No, much better. But much better, yes. (laughs) Yeah. Um, so it's, uh, AMD A8. Yes, that's right. Um, it has, uh, 8 gigs of memory in it. 
Um, because I got two gigs of memory, uh, like, K- Kingston was having some HyperX sale, and, um, I got it for like 30 bucks, 8 gigs. That's nice. pretty good. Yeah, of, uh, DDR3 something or other, I forget mm-hmm. the speed. It doesn't really matter. No. Um, all I need is a hard drive and something to do that. But, um, basically it's a micro board, so it's like 6.7 inches by 6.7 inches, so it's tiny. Mm-hmm. It's all hot glued, or, no, it's, um, I actually did it right. It's mounted on a piece of a laminate flooring, and then it's hot glued to a case I made out of your ductwork. And I put a couple beads of hot glue down, and then I hot glued the hard drive to it, so it doesn't vibrate, like it's all like in cushion thread. So it's, ca- like, you know the Velociraptor hard drives from Western Digital, how they have that little cool little rubber enclosure? So I made that out of hot glue. And, um, from the year 2001, I got some Dell, um, I forget what line of desktops they were, but I ripped a power supply out of one of those, and uh, hot glued that in. No, I screwed that one in with a uh, little tech screws. And so I made a really powerful computer for a hundred bucks. That's pretty good. Yeah, that's that's really good. When, when yeah. you're bored, sometimes you should bring it down so I can benchmark it. Uh what or OS can... do you want on the benchmarks? Well, as long as it can run Java. Ah, uh, see, I wouldn't want to kill my own server by putting Java in there. By benchmark, do you mean make it play War a bunch of times? Yep. Yeah, it's a great benchmark. That, that doesn't do hyperthreading at all. Nobody uses hyperthreading. Prime ninety five did. I can't run that on I anything he owns. Last winter, I kept warm by Prime ninety five. Yeah, I know, right? That's what I'm doing. That, that's what I'm doing uh, this break. Like, I, I run for marks here. Same thing. The the, the past few winters, I've been running uh, uh, folding at home. Oh yeah, oh, cool. that works too. I used to run on that the, on my server on but, the CUDA. Oh, on the CUDA even. See, I don't have CUDA on that server, but on the server I used to run folding at home too. Cool. You know, I built a computer too this year. You'd... Oh, yes, you did. Yeah, I know it doesn't seem like I did, but I totally did. Well, you got the exact same case and just a few more monitors that are inconsistent in size, by the way. Extraordinarily inconsistent. But anyway, I built a new computer, so I built basically eat what Ian built, but just better. A little bit. Yeah. Yeah. One part is better. Yeah, well, your except... heatsink is so well, much better well, than his. Well, no, I th- it's pretty, I'm pretty sure it's the he- same heatsink. You got the Evo Plus for uh, 12. For... Heatsink. Is no, I, I got Cooler huge? Master something or other. Yes, it's a Cooler something. Master Evo 212. I don't, okay, I don't, you don't, I don't know. You don't know your own hardware. Well, anyway, so uh, the the difference between Ian and I's computer sounds odd. It it's, it, it's the uh, 37, uh, 3570K, and then I have the 3770K. Yeah. Yeah. I hear it's not that different. But I, I'm going to go with my graphics card is better, though, because it doesn't make noises. No, it does not make noises. I hate noise. I'm going to go with my graphics card because it's faster. Oh, yes, it is faster. Is it? And it's quieter. What graphics card do you have, Bailey? He has a 680. Yes. Oh, you... So while I didn't of... build a computer, I upgraded mine. Yeah, his is really nice. And he has monitors that don't suck. <laughs> yes. I uh, bought two new monitors, so now I have four, uh, but they're not all connected up to the same system. That's still cool. So And, uh, yep, I upgraded to a GTX 680. And I also bought a 512 gig SSD, which is amazing and revolutionary. Nice, fast. 512. Yeah, that's a bit excessive. Not really. I... A lot of games. He plays games. Yeah. You want him to load fast? I, you do. You do. I agree. I want to put an With SSD that... in that server and in my computer and this new computer and all the computers. I want to put an SSD in this. It, I'm going to put an it, SSD in yes. this and this. And then you're going to put Linux on them. No. 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 Mm. And, you know, people always, you know, say, it's like, oh, yeah, everything loads so fast. Like, you can load Windows in, like, two seconds or something. Basically like, well, true. how many times did you actually boot Windows? I never boot like, Windows. But every I always, day? But I always resume it from sleep, and it is pretty fast. Well, I I always set my uh, desktop to sleep uh, every night, and I reboot maybe once or twice a week. Oh, that's impressive. Yeah, my computer likes to wake up at random times, so I can't just put it to sleep. And my mom makes me turn it off every night because really? of the electricity bill. Seriously? Oh, my God. You listen to that? Well, Is there a way I, to I have see... to humor her about some things, you know. Uh, at peak, my little server thing I built draws 10 watts. That's great. I know. I yeah. should get one of those. They're, they're silent. They're nice. I was going to say, does anybody know how to see uptime on Windows? And the answer is six days and six hours and 34 minutes. And I think uh, maybe my Blu-ray drive uh, went to my desktop. Uh, but uh, so I get a new drive, and it was having the same problem. And I think it was like I was in there, switched around the cables, and now it's worked fine. So I'm not sure if the old one still works or not. Hmm. So what other things did we obtain this year? So this year I bought an iPad. 
had one stolen and um, bought a Nexus 7. Stopped using it because my mom bought me another iPad. <laughs> Go, Mom. Well, now we yeah. can make show music for the first time in eight Oh, months. I forgot how much I hate iOS. Like, I've been using Android, and it's so much better. I, I know. Um, I've, I'm trying to put a hole through my Nexus 7 so I can hit the home button. I mean, I, 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 work. I love the hardware of this iPad. The camera's great, but it's just the OS that is so bad. It, it feels really heavy. It feels heavy. Like, that's fine. It's solid. It's uh, you, there. you mean the device or the, the OS? device itself? Oh, I think yes. the, the OS feels heavy to me. <laughs> it's like three but, gigs. Yeah, I love maps and stuff. Well, I, I also had some device purchases because you know we run the gadget show. Yeah, the gadget show. Um, and on the gadget show earlier this year in like February, I bought a new phone called piece of crap does anybody actually know what it was called something 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 3d no no so in in february i bought the um the motorola triumph motorola triumph and 89 days later i returned it <laughs> good job <laughs> after using it for 89 days because Epic. your phone wasn't electronics right and so then i i also at the same time purchased my current phone which is an evo 3d also known as an evo v 4g uh you know it works i don't like it though I want an Nexus 4. Yeah. Yeah. Good luck finding one. I, it's impossible. They're sold out continuously. You know what's also sold out? No. The Chromebook. Is, this, is it? Yeah. The, two, the 250 gig version that, I mean, gig. Um, <laughs> $250 version that I want to buy, uh, it's like not being sold anywhere. How much internal storage does it have? 16 gigs. That's not too bad. Yeah. It's good enough. It's like a normal thing. Yeah. Yeah. Half as much as my tab. I hear you got a Nexus 7 also. I did, and it's my, my current favorite thing in the world besides my desktop. I, I like my desktop more than all of the things I have. Well, of course. Because it actually runs. It can run through a PDF instantaneously. It can run Flash. It can run. This can go through a PDF even better. Oh, you know what? I need to borrow this. <laughs> so, okay. in my opinion, 2012 is the year that the tablets have actually become viable you think so as devices yes for you to own and actually be able to do useful things with yes really um obviously they're not replacing anything i mean if anything um for people like us they can replace a you know nothing big old clunky laptop um which is what i did with mine it is a bit stuttery i never i never use my laptop for anything anymore because i just you know whip out my nexus 7 from my pocket which it actually fits in and uh you know do whatever i need to with it and then put it away you know, it's funny because I do the exact opposite thing. I, I'm using my um, Nexus 7 sometimes reading something and then I want to write about it and I'm just crippled because... Crippled. Right. Uh, and because I, there's no keyboard that will ever work with that thing. You can't make content with it. Swipe. Yeah, so on my Nexus 7... When you need to write a blog post that's more than 20 words long... Yeah, I agree. You, you can't use a screen to type fast. Because I know how to type. A person who doesn't know how to type will not be hindered. But as a person who knows how to use a keyboard, turns out having a keyboard is actually helpful. Well, that's why helpful. you should try a Microsoft Surface. You know, I don't think so. Because then there's, <laughs> there's still a keyboard with it. So the, it's not... The tablet itself isn't solving the problem. I always bring my Unicomp keyboard that is eight pounds, and um, my what's my Nexus Seven? Like, I don't know, three hundred grams. Yeah, but I love my little crappy things I got from Hong Kong. I do too. Yeah, I lost it. He's breaking my keyboard. Great. Well, I mean, I I just it doesn't work on this, but I mean, I I like being able to type on physical keyboards. Agreed. So I, I always end up using my MacBook Air to actually consume articles and then write about them. Like, if I just want to see what articles or what stories are around, I just use my phone. So well, the see, tablet yeah. for me doesn't serve a purpose. Well, no, but you actually have a phone. And well, so what if a person had a phone and they had a well, laptop? Okay. You, you, have, you have a smartphone, a nice big smartphone. So I would ca- categorize that as a miniature tablet, really. It saved my notes. Wow. Like, forever ago. That's hilarious. It is funny. I could contact Virtus Lanier. It's at the very bottom. What is all this from? That's the central contact page. I don't know why it's in my notes. I cloud. Nice. Yeah. But yeah. Yeah. Like for especially especially for people who can't afford having a smartphone. But I think um, a lot of people have hey, smartphones and a lot of people have yes. ta- uh, laptops. But what if a person doesn't have a tablet yet? Do they even need one? Um, depends. If they just built a desktop, then yeah, because then they don't need to use their laptop for gaming anymore. And then they don't need to use their laptop for anything except for typing notes in class anymore. So they really don't need it for anything. 
No. Because they don't have classes during winter break. Right. Yeah. Because I just like tablets because they're so cheap compared to a good laptop. Oh, heck yeah. Because there aren't very many good laptops. Well, laptop I wanted to get, instead of getting that, it was $2,000. What <laughs> was that? Uh, Lenovo ThinkPad oh, with a new touchscreen. Really? Touchscreen, though. Do Lenovo ThinkPads still look like they were made in 2000? Exactly. Yeah. yeah. I, I don't still full screen. Like, you can get the full screen one or the widescreen one. But what he's referring to is how they look. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Full screen or widescreen, what do you mean? Like, like most what it's square. hard to find a full screen laptop these days. What does that mean? Like three by four? Like, because like aren't all laptops full screen? Do you mean do you mean like four to three? And... You mean four to three instead of sixteen by nine? I believe that's what he means. What do you mean? Describe in detail, mathematically, what you mean. When the monitor is square, or when the monitor is this is rectangle? No, that is, is that square. square? That one is. Okay, so you, he means a square aspect ratio. Yes. Turns out. I got that. I got that like five minutes ago. It's He's ridiculous. Broken. I like accuracy. Yeah, because uh, my Linux top is uh, a ThinkPad. Oh, cool. And uh, the college I went to gave gave them out to everyone. So, you know, how uh, like a conference and stuff, like you walk in, like everyone has like MacBooks and stuff. Mm -hmm. If you walk into like one of my college classroom, everyone looks like a cult because everyone has these black laptops. That's yeah. odd. What version were they? Like, like was it T and then two numbers? Uh, let's see. My uh, particular uh, class got the uh, Z61s, which are a piece of shit. Yeah. The T42s um, were the best. Yeah, the T61s are much better. Cool. So, like, we, we had so many problems with these things. Like, everything from blue screening to, like, the power socket, like, totally failing. <laughs> That's bad. But those like, were back we, when they were made by IBM, right? We actually had someone from Lenovo come in to, like, replace, like, all of our little power modules in all of these laptops. Hmm. So. Yeah. yeah, we hear it. But. Oh, well, now you just have pictures of my ceiling in your camera roll. So, yeah. for all of our listeners, if, uh, if any of you are interested in buying a two-year-old, uh, gaming laptop from me, let me know. Hit us, hit up the feedback button. Yeah, I heard you're only selling it for about $150. Uh, no, I'm selling that for like 600 or 700 Oh, that sounds like a ripoff and overpriced. Uh, well, no, it's actually worth over $850 still, according to Tiger Direct. So I, 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 don't know if I don't know if they're right. Yeah, they, they better be because they're selling it for that much. They're too hopeful. Whatever. Yeah. So do we want to talk about like what happened this year in the news for anybody? <sighs> there's a WWDC, there's a Google I.O. event, and something else. And other than that, there's not really much of an outside world. Mm -mm. I think there were some hurricanes that came through or something. Yeah, no. I, I heard about that. We we got some snow yeah. in Morris. He got rain. He got YouTube. I did. And it's wonderful, because I can stream 1080p, and I don't understand why you have trouble with that. Small pipe. Mm -hmm. Big pipe. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's clearly not YouTube's fault. It is and, No, it's not, because mm -hmm. I, I can do it just fine. They can push it down your pipe faster. That's because my pipe is much better. Yeah, YouTube sucks. No, it's, it's not their fault. It's the pipes. You just said so yourself. It's YouTube's fault. Uh-huh, sure. They own the pipes. Because <laughs> you can stream stuff on Hulu just fine, right? I don't know. I don't stream stuff. Is that really what you have against YouTube is streaming stuff? I don't know. I don't understand this guy at all. So do you want do you want to know the real reason I hate YouTube? Uh, sure. So I don't sign into YouTube. Because then they would know what videos I like. Then they would try to suggest what videos I should watch. And then they would try to do that. And I don't want them to have anything about me. That would be wrong. It's Google. They have everything about you anyway. Unfortunately, I signed up to their services when they weren't Google. So no, they're not. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. I, for one, welcome our new overlords. I will never welcome I want them to make, so, let me go mining. Just want to interrupt this and say that I am now buying the uh, Minecraft movie uh, right now. Really? I didn't know they made a movie. I didn't know either. What does that even entail? It's the uh, documentary. Apparently, it was it was uh, kickstarted. Oh, how did I miss this? As yeah. a, as the so video game they, news uh, made guy, a big splash last week of like they actually. Uh, Put it on the Pirate Bay because it was going to be on oh, there anyway. Okay, I think I might have heard about that then. Cool. Yeah. So, you know, I tried that out, and uh, darn it, I like it, so I guess I'm going to have to buy it now. Well, that's very noble of you. I'm proud What's of that? you. We're proud of you because you're a good person. 
I think a few games came out this year. What what were they? Oh, some really good gun ones in my opinion were um Guild Wars. Guild sure we'll, we Guild Wars 2. Guild Wars is. 2. Um uh, Mass Effect 3, The Walking Borderlands 2. Yep, Borderlands 2 was huge, Dishonored, The Walking Dead made a huge splash as a an interactive game that everybody loved. My favorite personally was uh Mass Effect 3 uh because it really, you know, wrapped up a wonderful trilogy of sci-fi awesomeness. In That's my, up for debate. I I liked the ending. I I felt that it really pushed me to consider what I thought, you know, life was. You know, what I considered life, the definition of life to be. I was, you know, act like trying to to rationalize with myself, uh, you know, what I was going to do. For and the all ending. that while being talked down by a star child. Yes. Have you have you played through the Leviathan DLC? We find out where the uh, star child come came from in that DLC. No, I haven't uh, gotten any of the paid DLC. Okay. Except for I think from Ashes. Ah. Yes. Is that character actually worth it? Uh, he says some very dark things, and he, uh, yeah, he pretty much is uh, you know, since. All he known is war. Like he doesn't really like relax or anything. Mm. Cool. Still, so, hey Ryan, I got a question for you about uh, this year. Yeah, sure. I like questions. How many times have I ditched class, and how many times total have we had pizza? Like, have we been <laughs> counting? No, I don't count those kinds of numbers. Why would you like to know? I don't know. I was just thinking how much money I blew on pizza. I think I spent more money on pizza this year than I did on tech stuff. I bet you Google could tell you. I don't know. If they, they have analytics on that. I'm, I don't think so. <laughs> yeah, actually, you could do that because they've always sent you an email every time. So if you count the number of emails with your order, use this. Wow. Well, anyway. In the so, meantime. So I, was, I, I wanted to mention some tech things that happened this year because, you know, we do tech stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know. No? Oh, you're going to use the uh, real premiere. Yeah, okay. Well, so, you know, since I was just using the iPad for something, I don't know what it was. We could talk about the iPads. Sure. You know, you know, there was an iPad 3 in March. Just the new one. The new iPad was released in March. And then, you know, a little bit later, you know, like in November, the iPad 4 was suddenly released. I I still want to call it the modern iPad. Yeah. Well, or the postmodern. I don't know, but it's not called the iPhone. I mean, the iPad 4 at all. It's the iPad with Retina display. Which seems absurd because the third one had Retina display and also it yeah. Was like yeah. So what are they going to call the next one? iPad five? That'd be really absurd. I don't know. And then you know the iPhone five came out this year too. Uh, after uh, a, a you know a, a quiet year of the iPad, uh, iPhone four. I'm sure that Brian Mitchell could tell us all about it. Yeah, I'm sure he could. I I don't like the iPhone five. It's not that nice. I like the Nexus four much better. Agreed. Yeah. What else came out this year? Uh. How about Windows eight? Oh my gosh, how did we forget about that? I didn't. I had it written down right there. Yeah, okay. (laughs) 69. Wow, really? Only. $69? So multiply that on average by $13. Oh, 69 orders? Oh my gosh. Yeah. Do you need a calculator? He should have one. I was trying to, I was verifying that all of them were there. So, Windows 8, what do you think about Windows 8? I liked it um for the, the the brief time that I had the release preview on my um desktop. Um for people who are just building a a computer and don't have access to Windows 7 for super cheap through the university, um I would probably recommend it as a, you know, $40 operating system that mm-hmm. you can get. You can only get that for like another month though, right? Yeah, until January 30th. Something like that. Yeah. Nine hundred and twelve dollars and eighteen cents went to Domino's. That's on average too. And sometimes I got the three larges, right? And sometimes you ordered, like, right? Um, That's why I said average. Yeah, and so there's it's easily a thousand dollars, right? In Domino's. Yeah. Now the Mountain Dew question. <gasps> wow, the calculator on the Nexus Seven's really nice. Yeah, better than I actually Nexus. haven't used it. I never used it either. It <laughs> looks really nice. Well, anyway, I think Windows Eight had. Um, you know, uh, not a marketing problem, but a functionality problem. Like Vista had the marketing problem, and functionally it was totally fine if you had a real computer. Yeah. But Windows 8 suffers from the same problem, but in a different way. So it has a functionality issue where on desktops there's no added benefit, on and on tablets there's no added benefit because it's on a tablet. Well, there are a few added niceties for on the desktop side. I mean, what? like they like they re- reworked um, Task Manager. I liked. 
I liked the, I liked ninety nine percent of all normal users will never see the task manager. Okay, ninety nine percent of all users aren't going to be building themselves a desktop and putting I Windows know, but, eight on but it. But a lot of people still buy desktops. That's a lie. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, no. A lot of people have desktops that they'll eventually upgrade. Mm, if they do, then they'll know about Task Manager. I don't think so. If they, if they upgrade it, yeah, they'll their know Their kids will do it for them. Yeah, exactly. And their kids will appreciate the new Task Manager. I don't think so. Um, what else were we talking about? Windows. Let's see. Oh, yeah, I never got to try out the uh, the storage spaces or whatever they call it. I never it. got to try it either. Um, I don't want to. You could. Looks terrifying. It sounds great. No, it, it sounds doesn't. wonderful. It sounds like a locked-in Microsoft product. It's just, it just replicates your file system several times over, Don't which like is it. nice. You know what I can do? I can do that with Arslink. Sure. What does that mean? Ask a Linux. Right. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, and it's pretty easy to just completely ignore the, uh, the Metro side of things anyway. It is, yeah. So it, it's not like that is but going I to just take away from a your lot. experience. There just isn't enough of Windows 8 right now to call it conclusively a winner. Try harder. And it, well, I mean, it's, it, and it runs every, it, it works just like Windows 7 if you needed to work well, just I, like Windows 7. Well, I like 7, it, cause so, when I look yeah. at a computer with Windows 7 now, I'm like very confused, cause I don't know where anything is. Yeah, um, so I just search for yeah. everything now. Exactly. Then you don't want to come to my place. <laughs> well, I mean, I have Windows 7 else everywhere else in the house. I mean, I don't know. It doesn't really matter, but it's, it looks strange, cause I use Windows 8 all day now. That's cool. Uh, what do you think Windows 8 will be in the future? Do you think, uh, we talked about Windows Blue. A couple weeks ago, blue, blue. blue. It, it's the big update to Windows 8. What do you What do you think about it? I would never buy anything year to year for an operating system. You don't for think software, so? like if I was going to get movie editing software, I'll pay for a year at least for that, but never for a core. You were OS. just telling me you didn't want to pay yearly for Lightworks. I bought it. Oh, yeah. Hmm. Still sucks. Really? Yeah. Thousand dollars on pizza. Oh, look, my Minecraft downloaded. <laughs> well, I, I I think I wouldn't mind paying yearly for an OS as long as the actual features are actually added. When uh, Mountain Lion came out, I bought it for 20 bucks. Oh, well. Yeah. I mean, that that's a small enough yeah. fee that it's, like, I don't, reasonable. I don't think they'll charge much for Blue when it comes out. If it comes out, I think it'll either be free or it'll be really cheap. I think that, um, obviously... Windows 8 on a tablet um, doesn't really appeal much to me because I am the Google guy and I have the Android. Um, but uh, I think I think that the next iteration of Windows is definitely going to have to separate them or bring them together in a much more meaningful you know, way than what they did here. Like they tried, but it it's just not does It's not enough. No, no. Um, like. I'm not going to go and use Metro stuff on four monitors on a desktop because oh. it just doesn't work. You know, I was telling somebody last week about the, the Metro problem. So here's Metro right now. Here's mm-hmm. here's Metro. How do I get Metro onto one of my other screens? You don't, do well, you? you can. So if I go back to the desktop here, and then I do this. Now, it will never, never work when I want to, but so I can do this. And now it's on this screen. What would you do again? Exactly. What okay, did I do but, again? But can you have multiple Metro things no. open on multiple? Okay, exactly. So, so the only way that like that the future of Windows and everything is going to be uh, integrated onto your desktop is through Metro, right? Through modern, well, whatever. I, um, Windows Star Eight stuff. app style. Um, the UI. Um, you know, like like when you when you, when you. Sign in with your Microsoft My Account, oh, and you, you they know, didn't actually you, end up doing that. And you synchronize everything through that. It only synchronizes the stuff that you can see in Metro. In Metro, yeah, it, it doesn't do a good job. No. I think actually, what Microsoft might end up doing is when you have your computer just loose and with no keyboard and with anything, you just get Metro. And then when you get a keyboard or a mouse hooked up to it, or you've docked it, so like so, it's standing on something else. You can have more of a Windows style normal UI, hmm. like the tablet and the Windows are all together, and it will work well. Like when you dock it, it'll do sure. something else. Sure. It'll like, it'll expose its secondary UI. I don't think RT will ever take off. I think that was a failed bet. Exposed. Yeah, like that. Yeah, I, Good. I, I do. Uh-huh. I, they're con- thinking dirty thoughts about your tablets now. Good. Is that music or is that? Oh, you crack addict! I got to tell you something. <laughs> Um, <laughs> Which one's the crack at? You. Why am I the crack at? Why were you playing Journey? So, 
last time you were here, you were telling me how you hated Android Basic Clock because you couldn't set an alarm and pick a song. Oh, I, I don't hate it, but I... You said I, you, you wish you could put it, play a song as, like, the alarm. Yeah, I wish I could have it set to, you know, just play my Google Music, you know, from the from the app. Just, just do that, mm. you know, like, unpause it and play whatever is on my playlist right now. Give me your device, then. What are you going to do? I don't know. You want me to play your music? I wanted to play it when the alarm goes off. Instead of having an actual alarm, just have my music playing. I did that. I played my journey. It, did, you, did you set that as a yeah. as an alarm, or did you set that I as... set the alarm to go off at 11.20 and play Journey. So let me let me see Journey in your playlist, then. You just have it in a playlist. I have it in, do, 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 do. in the file explorer. Well, anyway, let's talk about um, something else that happened with Microsoft. The guy who made Windows 8 was kicked oh, out yeah. of his company. And uh, he's already teaching at Harvard. I don't know. Did he start yet? Uh, second, this, in one second, week he will. Okay, right. Um, he's second, teaching second. business or something. Yeah, right. Not tech stuff. Well, I mean, he, he but said he is a business he, he said he would be doing some research in tech, but for the teaching yeah. he will be doing, it'll be in the business school. I just think how, how cool it was that he was fired for a week and then he's already at Harvard. Just right, teaching. exactly. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. It's almost like he planned his escape. I think he might have because... Yeah, that's what I'm thinking too. That's yeah. the only thing that makes sense. Yeah. Well, I wonder why he wanted to get out so bad. Why make Windows 8... Well, maybe that's why. <laughs> <laughs> why make Windows 8 suck so much and then leave? Later. What are you doing? I'm giving you my tablet. Is that your tablet? Yeah. Where's my... <laughs> it's on my leg. I don't know it's touching your nuts, man. Right there. <laughs> My nuts are down here. Do you understand anatomy? Well, I don't know where, how deep your pockets are, because apparently they're pretty deep. Take my tablet. All right, I got your tablet. In your hand. It's in my hand. Stroke it. Stroking it with my thumbs. <laughs> now my whole hand. And reach out with you. After all said about anatomically correct dolls. <laughs> oh, burn. <laughs> how does he know that? I don't know, you watch the French. That's amazing. What am I doing? Um, I think you're supposed to be setting an alarm that, like, plays stuff when it goes off. Well, uh, what if we talk about, uh, uh, other companies? What other companies did interesting things this year? Google. Did we ever talk about Google? Well, what, what, what else did Google do aside from new devices? Uh, well, new, lots of new devices. Uh, new, aside from new devices. Uh, mining. The other guys. Gmail made. has a new creating mail look. Yeah, I guess that's, yeah, that's not, not a try again. I was thinking Yahoo. Why don't we talk about Yahoo? What have they done? Well, they got a new CEO who previously worked at Google, employee 20 at Google, and there, she's now the CEO, Marissa Mayer. Okay. Yeah. She relaunched Flickr, and it was a success. Oh yeah, people use And if they sometimes. could ma- maintain that momentum in 2013. Why can't I pick anything? That what company do you mean, might why work. Why can't you pick anything? Your, ring- your, your ringtones. Why can't I browse your thing and pick your songs? Browse your oh. thing. They're all right here. My songs are all... Like, is that right what you here? listen to your crap? Yeah, of course. He uses Google Music. Yeah. How else would I get it on my device? Right. I don't know. Not through iTunes. No. Oh. Well, you know, speaking of iTunes, because apparently there isn't that much Google news, you know, iTunes, uh, it was promised early in October, but it, it didn't come out until November 30th, a month later than they said it would. Yeah. Um, did you know? Uh, remember how I used to be an iPad owner, and I, I got my Nexus 7, mm-hmm. and then you showed me this app called ES File Explorer, yeah. and then how I instantly fell in love with my tablet, mm-hmm. and how I said that that made the tablet super usable and super nice, and I use it for stealing anime and moving files around well, and managing Well, in your stuff. case, that makes sense because you have the files, but unfortunately for Ian, Buck, my... he doesn't have the files on another device. He only has them there. My music is in this big green space under apps. Somewhere. So, that's the thing, you don't know where it's at. No, I don't need to. Like, I like being able to go through and, like, I want to listen to the song, and, like, I like managing through that with all yeah, this look at graphical that. Ooh, crap. I, I have my songs it's too here. Weird. <laughs> I, it's, super, it's a foreign concept. You're foreign. So, what else happened this year? Well, since you had mentioned iTunes there, we can talk about Google Play. Yeah. I love Google Play. It's great. Yeah, I've, I've uploaded all my music to there, still haven't used it, so. I use it all the time. When I'm not but listening to podcasts. But it's nice that they allow you to upload how many thousands of songs? Like 20,000? 20, 20,000. 20, I think it's 20, just 20. Okay, 20. Yeah. Which is plenty. It less is. Less than I checked. Now, if somebody could just have that kind of thing for uh, movies, then I would be in heaven. Really? Because, yeah. Because, like, so whenever I buy... 
whenever I buy a movie digitally from somebody, it's it's very closed. I can't get mm-hmm. it off of that system right. at all. Um, of course, my games are kind of the same way. I can't get them off the Steam, but I I'm Steam. fine with that because I love Steam. Um, but like, no, so so even if I buy music from Amazon, you know, they're like, all right. Do you want to download this as an MP3 file? File, and I'm like, yes. And so I download it, and then it gets automatically uploaded to Google Music, and I'm like, yes. They're all there in Google Music. Well, I used to use Amazon's cloud, but I don't like it anymore. Sure. Oh, the other annoying thing: Amazon Instant Video. They they claim like on the site, like, oh, you can watch this, you know, in your browser and on like lots of smart TVs mm-hmm. and on all sorts of tablets. And so I'm like, well. Obviously, the Nexus 7 is going to be supported because everybody supports it, right? Nope. I don't know if they made nope. this claim. They, I don't remember. They, they, well, I, I read it. They were like, it works on the Kindle Fire and on the iPad and on all sorts of tablets. And I'm like... Yeah, that's all sorts. Right. Yeah, exactly. So that that's basically the only tablets that it, they actually have the app on. And, of course, it uses Flash. Of course. In the browser version. So I can't watch it on my tablet. Oh, well. You can sideload Flash, though. Yeah. If you were really that desperate. If, if, yeah, exactly. But then you wouldn't be able to use Chrome, so I don't know. Everybody else works in, in, without Flash, so. You could just, you know, get BitTorrent. Mmm, sounds just fishy. download it. I don't think that the it. university would enjoy that. No, I don't think so. No. Well. SPPS would. <laughs> he did that. I did that. It was my most impressive thing ever. Well, I think the most impressive time ever was not getting caught, but despite hacking that Mac. It's so easy. No. Yeah. Who would have thought? I didn't know anything about single user mode until I mm-hmm. found that document. I didn't either. Sam's a genius. So this year, stuff happened. Yeah, I don't know if None it of us went to jail. I don't know if it really <laughs> happened. Uh, another thing that happened, uh, since Ian, you mentioned, you know, this is the year of the tablet. Well, this is kind of the year of the crowdfunding. Oh, definitely. That's true, yeah. yeah. Kickstarter yeah, was c- everywhere. Because uh, it kind of got uh, started off... Uh, like back earlier this year with a double fine raising, I'm not sure how many millions of dollars. A lot. Tim Schafer, he gets money. Um, yeah, he was unfortunately never never able to get a whole lot from the publishers, though. Yeah, but he didn't need to because he got it all from us. So, uh, did you participate in that? I did not. I don't have money. <laughs> so, um, let's see. I'm not sure how many specific games were uh, crowdsourced. Uh, this year, and uh, well, they, also they... there is the ooh yeah, yeah, <laughs> that just shipped out its developer kits last week. That's gonna be fun. Mm-hmm. I'm not gonna get one. No, I'm not either. But people will enjoy that. I have my PC. I'm good. Yeah. So this year, um, I just got a message from Ian Decker. He says he's gonna grow out his hair and learn how to play the guitar. Where did you get this message? Through Facebook. Are those two things related? No, next year. I don't know. I, I just well, thought it was absurd. Okay. It's crazy. Growing out hair and learning to play guitar. Well, he says they're connected. So that would be the looking forward section of our show. Uh, we've... Oh, we're doing a show. <laughs> <laughs> is this a show? I don't know. I can't believe you said that. Why? Because this you is always unstructured. Do. Uh, should this be a fringe? No, no, no. no. This is <laughs> the show. Next special. Oh, man. I put in too much effort for this to be a fringe. We should listen to the fringe. Every fringe is great. <laughs> I like the fringe better than the show. I know. Me too. It's often longer. But, oh, <laughs> always. That's because nobody can just start a show here. Especially when we're actually in the studio. Yeah, it's unlikely then. Like, when we're just Skyping in, it's always like, alright, I'm here, let's start the show. Stargate! And then, well, then we end the show, and I'm like, I gotta go, Stargate! <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, when we do the show, it's always, you know, pizza at the end. Pizza, pizza. Yeah. You're making and we hungry. have to finish before... No, I am not buying Domino's ever again. I spent a thousand dollars last year. <laughs> That's so funny. I spent a thousand dollars. You know, uh, the year's not over. We can, we can I still suppose spend we could. more. Wow. Yeah. No, no, no. You gotta try. I want some hot dogs. I'll feed you hot dogs. That one doesn't count anymore. <laughs> that one's invisible. <laughs> Wait, there's one down there still? Nope. Yeah. Okay. It's, it's bun gone. and ketchup. Well, the bun is The bad. ketchup turned black, by the way. It, it's not red anymore. You need to fix your ketchup bottle. You, you're supposed to refrigerate ketchup after it's been opened. Do you have any no. ranch? I love ranch. Yeah, I do have ranch. Yes! Sam. I will eat the hot dog with ranch. I, I eat so much ketchup, I have a pump of it in my fridge. <laughs> nice. That's pretty cool. So so this year, this year... I've got nothing. I watched The Avengers. That was a good movie. I watched The Hobbit. It was a good movie. Those were my two favorite movies of the year. Hmm. Uh, I liked Avengers and Expendables 2. That movie was the best. Really? You've seen it? No, I have not. You have to go see it. Have you seen one? No. 
It seems you have to. doesn't seem like my cup of tea, but you know. Okay, so let me explain it to you. Bang, 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 bang. Just like that. Yep. Pretty much. It's mm-hmm. cool. <laughs> got a nice head. <laughs> well, he's really into the magic eraser. Yeah, I hope so. <laughs> I couldn't move lest I be like mutilated more. Yeah, you're right. So if you if you just play dead, they go away after a while. I hear that a lot. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I should try brushing his teeth. Mm-hmm. <sighs> yeah. So that was a year. Mm-hmm. So what? What? What's? We never talked about what you're gonna do next year. For well, what am I gonna do next year? Building like a Windows Nine Mayhem machine. If they make Windows Nine next year, nobody's gonna buy it. You would. Oh, I would, cause I have to. I'm the gadget guy. Yeah. He has an the obligation to his listeners. Yeah, and well, the readers. Yeah, I, I have guys. way more readers than the listeners. Yeah. I wonder why that is. No, I, 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 I can listen to a podcast while I'm doing anything. I mean, I can't read a, a blog post while I'm doing anything. Well, that's not my problem. Yeah. Oh, See, speaking in the of... next year, I'm hoping to learn a whole lot of JavaScript. That's good. JavaScript cool. is good. Except when it's disabled. No. It's always good. <laughs> uh, like, especially, like, in my new job, that's, uh, like, essentially the thing that we're programming on servers is essentially JavaScript. That's excellent. Yeah, how's that going for you in your new job? Uh, it's going quite well. So. Cool. In fact, they're going to be sending me down to Knoxville, I think, uh, like the week of the 6th or so. And by uh, for send- training. Oh, nice. Cool. And where so, did they train you? Just so I wouldn't, somewhere else? I wouldn't expect, uh, it's a camp. podcast from mm. me that week though. That, that's fine. I could, um, and that's okay. when control structure died. No, I think that's when it will flourish. A, okay. A brief omission. Oh, hey, speaking of which, uh, do you have any statistics for us for this year? Oh, you want, you want those? You know, oh, I, for I do. the podcast, because that's what we're here for, is the year. You're in review. You're not going to throw all the yeah. statistics in this one, are you? Well, I'm not doing one for the end of the year anyway, so. Zeet Geister, you know, however you quarter four? four. Quarter four doesn't happen until February 24th. What's this quarter? Like? We're in this the quarter. This is the fourth quarter. The end of the quarter doesn't happen until February 24th. Uh-huh. They, they separate them out weird. Yeah, it turns yeah. out. It would be 90 days. What kind of quarters are they talking about? Well, it's 90 days from November 13th, so it happens to land sometime in the middle of February. Or the what end. does November thirteenth have to do with anything? When I started the network, I got crap. Ah, yes, happens. So anyway, uh, hundred four hundred and forty-one downloads in the last ninety days. At the Nexus has one hundred twenty-four. Uh, Control Structure has eighty-one. Yay! Eight Bit has one hundred fifty-one. What up? Ne- Nexus Special has eleven. The Fringe has sixty-nine, and <laughs> the Universe <laughs> has five. So- five. You can't get stuff for more than the last 90 days, or? No. Okay. And it's irrelevant. Okay. Recent timescales are much more useful. Can we have, like, an average of each episode? Like, per episode, you mean? Yeah. Okay, yeah. Maybe. We'll just divide that by the number of episodes that we've had in the last 90 days, right? I guess. <laughs> ah! <sighs> Sorry. No, you you can't have that. No. I don't I, I'm sure we could figure out how many, um episodes each show had in the last 90 days and then just, just well, do all some of mine. division. Well, see, I, these are download numbers. I could give you those numbers for page views, but that's not the same thing necessarily. What? Page views do not equal downloads. I know that. Good. That's all I said. Okay. You actually get more downloads from me than page views. Oh, I... I, you, I which is I, funny. I, I know. Because I don't go to the page. I just download it in Beyond Pod. I listen to a lot more podcasts now that I actually have something that I can just carry with me yeah, in my and it pocket. Just, and, and it listen. just does it itself. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. It's wonderful. Because mm-hmm. I, you know, having, having a giant laptop with a fan running in my backpack, you know, while trying to walk down the street listening to a podcast doesn't make much sense at all. Doesn't, huh? No. So according to my notes here, there aren't that many downloads. Like, at any one time. Oh, yeah. I finally convinced my brothers to listen to an episode. Because it was actually about something that they care about, League of Legends. Hmm. Specifically, hmm. it was about why Dota 2 is better than League of Legends. Hmm. LOL. Indeed, LOL. You want to play a game, LOL? So, I do have some other numbers. So, for control structure, what's for dinner? Now, I don't know why zero isn't in here, but it's not. But that's all I can tell you. So, what's for dinner had 23 downloads. Number two had nine. Uh, three had eight. Four had 17. Five had four. And six had five. That's confusing. It, that is, especially can, since I can't see them in my head when you're talking. Good enough. Right. Uh, and a few of those are mine. 
Well, th- those were all control structures. Well, I a think few of had... those downloads were my downloads. Oh, right. Yeah. Yeah. Skewing our numbers. Yeah, yeah We do it. Yeah, it's a lot. Um, these are your numbers, but it doesn't matter. What do you mean it doesn't matter? You don't think it matters? I just, I love my numbers. Okay, what are my well, numbers? so for 16, you had 5, for 15, you had 4, and for 14, you had 5, and for 13, you had 6, for 12, you had 7, for 11, you had 5, and for... That's a lot less than, uh, than, than you think when you hear the big 151. Yeah, but this, this, that's why it's cumulative. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Oh, we need more listeners. Good luck. I know, right? So maybe, maybe in 2013 we'll go into iTunes and get some listeners. Yeah. We could. Do, do you really want joke. to? Do you really want to go to iTunes? You'll be ridiculed in iTunes. By who? People who try Ryan to Mitchell? listen to us. We, we don't, we don't need to listen to their feedback. I mean, just, You'll, I'll explain it to you. Oh, thanks. Okay. Make so, me feel good about myself. Well, so, every time somebody sends me feedback now, I forward it to whoever it's supposed to go to. Yeah. Yeah. Which is, uh, funny when you, uh, submit feedback for my show. Yeah. I think it's funny. I think it's funny when Andrew Bailey submits feedback on my show and then Ryan forwards it to me and I'm like, Andrew Bailey knows my email. Why didn't he just send this to me? Because you're supposed to use the form. <laughs> yeah. It's formal channels. I suppose. Yeah. Get it formal. <sighs> so yeah, I think this, this year has been pretty good for our network anyway, you know? We we added two new shows, reworked the fringe so that it's actually a fringe. Eh, iffy. New Nexus specials kind of happen when there's big things going Never, on. There's nothing ever big. No, yeah. Um, or we're gonna years have, end. We're going to have great Nexus specials for CES this year. Because we're going to them? No. Oh. We're not going to go to them? Uh, unless you want to drive. Dude, I want to go to New Vegas. Keep buy the tickets. And get in. Let me work on that. Okay. Because I don't so think that's going to happen. contacts. What? Ask your contacts for them. Who? Hmm. I know you know the people. I know the people, huh? You know the people. Okay, well, you can get the deal. I, I could get the deal. Matt, are you going to drive us all the way to New Vegas? Oh, if you go half seas on gas. He didn't even notice. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. It's all the way. <laughs> half li- or uh, what's that crappy game called? Fallout. Yeah. 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 So we were talking like about Fallout. the we were talking about CES before the show. You can listen to the fringe for more. Were we? We weren't recording at that point though. You can we- listen to the fringe for more. <laughs> Regardless if the content you're looking for is there or not. And, uh, we were, we, he, he accidentally said New Vegas instead of Las Vegas. I play I like too many games. It's a, Fallout's one of my favorite games. I need to get around to that. Which Andrew told me I need to do in the feedback that he submitted. Yeah, in my opinion, uh, number three is better than New Vegas, but then again, I didn't play the first two. See, I didn't like it. There were too many guns, you need to shoot things. Didn't like it. Oh, you you it sound like my yellow. mom. What? You sound like my mom. Too many guns. Oh, I like Halo. Sure. But wait, you hate games. Why are you talking about I this? like Guild Wars. Yeah, he, he doesn't count. What's going on there? You liked Halo. I like Halo 1. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> I hated Halo 2. What about Halo Reach? Oh, that was even worse. The too many guns. Too many vehicles. The world was too big. And it wasn't linear enough. And I was always driving up and down hills. The world is an always changing place. I was driving. What I meant is, I was always going up and down hills. They haven't stopped making frozen pudding pops, have they? What? They could have. Square root of minus Garfield. Go read it. I don't watch TV. It's 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 good. Yeah, I can't think of anything else to say. Can anybody else think of anything else? No. Hmm. Well, okay, then. yeah, yeah. So, how many shows do you think we're gonna do next year? Cumulatively? Well, well, but don't answer that question. I think we'll do about 50 ourselves, and then that guy over there will probably do about 50, and the other guy over there will probably do 50, and the other guy... We'll do zero? No, five. We'll go five. Maybe five, yeah. yeah. I think that's fair. Guess what? I My show is about to have as many shows as the universe. Isn't that but great? not pass. And, and we, we will have pulled yeah. even with them but by know, the end of 2012. That's, that's fine. Getting a tie is like winning. Yeah. Because, Especially when we've been going for, like, six or seven months less than he was. Yeah. And my show will soon have half of many episodes. Wait, you have six now, right? I think. Yeah. But wait, we're counting the zero one, too, so. So, seven. <laughs> That's very confusing. So, yeah, you'll be good. Awesome. Mm-hmm. And, of course, uh, the Fringe count has exceeded all expectations. The Fringe is now half of what we run on our show. Well, you did that on purpose. No. <laughs> kind of. No. The fringe happens conspiracy. every episode. Well, you knew that was going to happen when you when you did that. Yeah, that's why I never did it before. <laughs> it was a lot of work. <laughs> but now it's effortless. 
Oh, and by the way, my show is now finalized. You have a show? Yes, I do. Really? Launching January 30th. It is unnamed, and I will not be making a document for name suggestions, by the way. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, that's not happening. <laughs> Troll all over it. Yeah. Um, well, What's you, the topic? Um, it's kind of like Life Hacker, like, like little, like it's, there's no, it's physically building stuff. It's got video. Oh, um, so it's not a show on my network. It's not a show on your network, but you're so hosting not... it, and it's on YouTube. Oh, really? Because <laughs> I refuse to use YouTube. Well, he's you hosting it on YouTube. YouTube. Yes. So you're hosting it. <laughs> it's being hosted on YouTube, but you're linking to it heavily. I am. You are linking Where to it. Where am I heavily. linking to it? On the website. Oh, on the website. On are the we, website. Are, are you saying that we're going to embed it? Yes. Okay. No. Oh, yes. Cool. You said you would. I said I might. When you see how well the content has been slapped oh, together. Yeah, that's what I'm worried about. <laughs> Well, see, Ryan, it doesn't sound like it's very much work on your part, which is the only thing that you ever care about. No, that's not true at all. I like quality, too. Sure. Mm-hmm. 1080. P? P? Hmm. P, P. Please. Yeah. yeah. Well, uh, have a good year. Well, well, see well next we year. can't leave without saying where people can find us on the internet. You can have a blog in 2013. Nah, that's looking slimmer than I you? am not. You have a blog now. I am Ian Buck, and I have a blog, and I actually write stuff on it uh, on a regular basis. Ianrbuck.blogspot.com. Make sure you put that R in there. Yes, because ianbuck.blogspot.com does not post things, and he's not very interesting. No. No offense to him. That's okay. Then find him all you want. How about Andrew? Where can we find him? Uh, you can find my contact information in this very uh, podcast post. Okay. <laughs> okay. Theandrewbailey.com. There you go. That wasn't very hard, was it? No. And of course, you can find me, Ryan Rampers, just about anywhere, but especially... Right here on the Nexus. I changed it up there. And Twitter. Yeah. Twitter, Ryan Amar. Twitter. Yeah. Yes. That's it. No, don't even read my blog. I like your blog. Don't. Except, except that I don't understand blogs. half the things that you talk about. Don't, don't read my blog. Where can we find you again? Oh, you can find me at MatthewPutchell.com. Really? What's there? Um, quack. A picture of me in a lab coat and something about me lighting quack. things on fire and calling it science or something. Uh, yeah, quack. I think it might actually say something about a quack. Quack. It does. Oh, okay then. You're right. <laughs> That's funny. I didn't. I've been to that site a few times. A few times. Yep. I got off. It mentions picture. anything about flooring. No, it does not mention. Yeah, I got fired since then. Oh, did you actually? I have not had a contact with my boss in like a week. I think he's did, on vacation. Did he actually say that you were fired, or no. have you just not heard anything? I have not heard anything. Normally, mm-hmm. people are on vacation at this time of year, and they're not installing flooring in places at this time of day. No, everybody is trying to get stuff done for the new year. Like I was working crazy hours. I was work. I worked 17 hours that one day because at any time fitness wanted to be done before the first, and they needed the flooring done so they could have the other contractors come in and put all the TVs so the fat people can watch TV while they bike through the month of January. I see. Yeah. Well, make sure you make strong floors for the fat people. Oh yeah, it's a uh, high quality rubber flooring. Like they can't break it. It's also Will they cool. bounce? No, um, <laughs> it doesn't bounce. But if you had like a jar of change and dropped it on the floor, you wouldn't hear it. Oh, nice. Well, that's yeah, impressive. That's cool. Yeah. Hmm. It's cool stuff. Well. You'd not believe how heavy it is, though. I wouldn't want to. Does it feel as nice as the back of an Nexus 7? No, it does not. Aww. But it feels pretty good against your face. <laughs> well, and that's all we have. Uh, anybody want to wish our audience a happy new year? No, not particularly. Mm-hmm. I don't respect them. Oh, okay. How about you? Happy new year! Oh, see, that was easy. Have a good one. Have a good one. Oh, wait, Bailey's going to say something. I was thinking so. Have a good one. There we go. <laughs> the year's complete. You know, a little bit of leg. Hey, how's it going? It's me, Ryan Rapper said. Still, still here. Still editing the show. You know, after nine hours of editing various shows today, I think it's time to do one last thing before I go. For, uh, you know, my holiday festivities, as one might say. And that is to say thank you to everyone here on the network. First, I need to say thanks to Matt. Matthew has somehow figured out how to get down here pretty much every Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and or Friday. Maybe I said Friday twice because he's here a lot. Somehow he figures that out. I don't know how he does it. He's really busy, and having him here is a great pleasure. It's a lot of fun for me. We laugh a lot. We watch anime. We play Guild Wars together. We do this show together. We do At The Nexus together. We do a lot of stuff. And it's been great having Matt here all year long in 2012. Yeah, it's been great. A lot of fun. Glad to have him. 
And of course, Sam. You know, Sam, we haven't heard from much from him. He's been attacked by bears on numerous occasions this year. And he's been uh, wearing his uh, anti-bear uh, amulet, I guess. And he's he's doing well. But I really have to thank Sam for at least trying to do the universe on occasion and, of course, playing Guild Wars with us on occasion, too. And, of course, going to uh, Skype and whining and complaining about various things all the time. And, of course, working on code together. That's always fun. So thanks, Sam, for uh, hanging around. I also have to thank Andrew Bailey. We never knew you before. You just came to us on the spur of the moment, asked total strangers if you could have a podcast here. And, of course, we said yes, absolutely. It is amazing. We never thought this would be possible. It is incredible that we have people we never knew initially on the shows and doing podcasts on their own for us, with us, and doing them well and great and on time and just... It does a fantastic job. So thank you so much, Andrew Bailey. Of course, I have to thank Ian Buck and Ian Decker for their show. You know, uh, that uh, little show called 8-Bit. You know, Ian, you read the feeds in the feed reader. You do it right. You know, other Ian, you don't read the feeds in the feed reader. You're not doing it right. But you don't really watch podcasts, and you don't really listen to videos. Uh, uh, so you don't really uh, know what you're missing out. So, Ian... You need to get going on that. Maybe the other Ian can help you figure that out. Maybe with your little iPod Touch, you can uh, listen to some uh, podcasts. Not only from here, but elsewhere. It'll really help you. And you'll really enjoy it, too. So thank you, hosts of the Nexus, so much for doing this for a year. It's been a lot of fun for me, and I hope it's been a lot of fun for you. But of course, hosts don't make all of this happen. Guests make this happen, too. So if you've been a guest on this show... And there's a lot of you. Thank you for being a guest on any show that we do here at the Nexus. There are so many shows and there are so many guests that we would need to thank. But just in bulk, in mass, thank you. Because seriously, you have no idea how much it helps us. Having someone to talk to during these shows makes these shows so much more interesting, so much more human, so much more interactive. Guests make these shows happen and guests make these shows thrive. So thank you. Thank you for being on, reading the notes, taking time out of your time so that you can be a part of our time and our listeners' time. Speaking of listeners, thank you, listeners. Thank you for listening to this right now. I know it's probably one of you Ian's or Andrew's. You're always listening to these things. But if it's not one of you, thank you specifically for sticking around to not only all of these shows that we've done this year, but to the very bitter end of all of these shows that we've done this year. I know there are a lot of We have over 120 shows now in total going up every week so fast. We've, we've quadrupled our output weekly. It is incredible. And it's all thanks to listeners because you wanted them. I hope. I hope. Maybe. Maybe you should fill out the survey next time, actually. Maybe we'll know who's actually listening to that. Maybe. I don't know. I'm just saying. Well, anyway, I, I had to do this before I, I closed down for the, for the new year. But, some other things though, I really have to say, uh, you should stick around for the new year, because new things are coming. Uh, you should definitely stick around for CES. That's when all the gadget news, uh, you know, comes out, and we'll, we'll have, uh, so much coverage on that. We'll, we'll be on the ground live covering that here, in studio, I mean. And of course, we'll be uh, covering whatever else happens in the news uh, at the Nexus. 8-Bit will be covering whatever happens in the gaming world. Andrew Bailey will be covering whatever happens in the development world and the administration business. Sam may or may not be covering what happens on Mars. I, I hear there's big news there. And of course, there may or may not be new shows coming along. You know, I mean, I can't say for sure if there isn't, but there probably is. I mean, I don't know. What I'm trying to say is you really should stick around for 2013. It's going to be an incredible year. And I really hope that you're still here to listen to it when it, when we, when we do it. Because it's going to be great. So once again, thanks. I hope you have a great new year. I hope you have a great January. Have a good one.